Today's Bible study is titled Sounding Out the Word of the Lord. Having shared how our gospel was preached to the Thessalonians, in power, and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, Paul shows the results of their belief as he continues. 1 Thessalonians 1 verses 6-10, KJV, And ye became followers of us, and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction, with joy of the Holy Ghost, so that ye were in samples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God ward is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. For they themselves shew of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. When Paul preached the gospel to the Thessalonians, they t became followers of us, and of the Lord, because they had received the word in much affliction, with joy of the Holy Ghost. Let's see what the result of this reception of the word became. In what is verse 7, the first result was the believers, living in a town of some 130,000 inhabitants, became, and samples, pattern or model, to all that believe throughout the Roman provinces of Macedonia and Achaia, modern-day Greece. In fact, per what is verse 8, so great was the testimony of the Thessalonian believers that, after becoming followers of Paul's preaching, teaching, and of the Lord thereby, they sounded out the word of the Lord not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God ward is spread abroad. In other words, these folks were very vocal about their newfound faith in Christ by the gospel of grace, and so much so that word of their faith became spread abroad. So great was their testimony of faith, Paul states, that we need not to speak anything. Continuing in what is verse 9 Paul continues that those reached by the spread abroad faith of the Thessalonian believers caused those who heard it and believed to recognize the manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. In other words, the witness of them added to the reputation of Paul and his company regarding their conduct among them and the proof of his ministry as the Thessalonians had turned from being idol worshippers to servants of the only true and living God. In what is verse 10 we see that the Thessalonian believers did not just understand the gospel of their salvation, rather the continuance of Paul's teaching as they learned to continue to wait for God's Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. In other words, they had learned of the coming day when Christ shall return for the church, which is his body, Ephesians 1 verses 22-23. This is doctrine, learned from Paul's preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, Romans 16 verse 25. The Thessalonian believers were anything but timid as they sounded out the word of the Lord, and many others were apparently beneficiaries of their bold faith as ambassadors for Christ. May we learn from their example. Believer, sound out the word of the Lord, his gospel of grace, and his promised coming again for the church which is his body. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today. God bless you. Happy New Year.